God has your best interest at heart and he does not hate you. He loves you. He wants you to have a rich and satisfying life. He is the God who cares about your heart. He cares about how you feel. Your feelings are taken into consideration by him. That is why Jesus had to come to earth. He felt grief. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is such a pleasure to have you watch today's video. I am Uwem Akpan. I want to encourage you with this. God does not hate you. I don't know what is happening around you or what has happened to you or around you that makes you feel like God hates you. If you've not heard it from anyone else, hear it from me today that God does not hate you. The devil hates you. God loves you. It is the devil that wants you to think that God hates you so that you will never approach him. Because when you feel like somebody hates you, you don't want to have any business to do with that person. Because having a business to do with that person is like a recipe for destruction. You're getting yourself hot. You're the one that is setting yourself up for disappointment. You are the one that's trying to mingle with the person. And you know they hate you. And the devil is trying to make you not to get to God so that you will be bound by him. Jesus said, the thief's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. For someone that wants to give you a rich and satisfying life, who hates you? Between these two, the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, and the loving Savior who says, I am coming to give you a rich and satisfying life, a full life. This is to let you know and remind you, God does not hate you. I may not know your story, your situation, whether you've you know, experience rape, abuse, whatever thing it is, God did not cause that. You've lost someone loving, you've lost a loved one that you really cared about, doesn't mean God hates you. He loves you. And I know this may not like get deep into your heart. This might be something that you might be trying to kick off of your head and feel like, He loves me. Why did He take away my loved one? He loved me. Why did He allow this to happen? He loved me. Why did He allow that to happen? The life we live on earth, we will not have answers to everything. And clearly, the earth we are living is a broken earth. The world we are living is a broken world. Bad things keep happening and it will keep on happening. But that is why we have an advantage and leverage on God who is with us and He promised that He will never leave us alone no matter what happens. He promised that He will always be with us. As humans, we will never be able to figure everything out. We will never be able to get answers to why the things that have happened has happened. If you thinking that God hates you is in the line of the situation you've experienced or what has happened to you, just get to know that God has your best interest at heart and he does not hate you. He loves you. He wants you to have a rich and satisfying life. He is the God who cares about your heart. He cares about how you feel. Your feelings are taken into consideration by him. That is why Jesus had to come to earth. He felt grief. He grieved. He saw his friend Lazarus die. And he felt grief. He cried. How would he be a savior that understands how we feel if he never experienced it? I know he is God. He is all-knowing. He could know how he feel, but he would not be able to feel like us. So God sent his son as a man. Christ Jesus and he walked on earth and he feels every feeling you have right now. He knows how it feels. He felt everything. He felt the greatest amount of pain. He was in agony. He died as a man. Wow. And he is saying, I love you. I did all of this. I came to earth. I died. I gave myself for you because I love you and because I want the best for you. He took us in his arms, replaced us so that we can have a satisfying life, not because we deserve it, but because of his benevolence. He provides this life for us and we receive it as a love gift, as a grace gift. And that same John, he said, I am the good shepherd. The shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. And scriptures in Psalms 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It makes me to lie down in green pastures. It leads me beside the still waters. It restored my soul. It leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though, this place always catches my attention. Yea, though, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. 
It doesn't mean that when the Lord is my shepherd, I will not walk through difficult times. It does not mean that when the Lord is my shepherd, I will not go through hard times. I will not experience difficulties. But it means when the Lord is with me, I am assured that I will not break down when hard things happen, when difficult things happen. When I am walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I know that I'm not alone. The Lord is with me. When I am facing grief, I know that God doesn't hate me. He is with me. Whatever happens in my life, I do not have to start hating myself. And this is me telling you, don't hate yourself. Know that God loves you. And out of the love that he has for you, receive this love wholly and fully and learn to love yourself. He is your shepherd. He gave his life for you. He is here to protect. He is here to guide. He is here to help. He is here for you. And this is just me sitting down here to encourage you. Again, Jesus said in John 15, You didn't choose me. I chose you. He does not hate you. If he hates you, why would he choose you? Oh, he chooses to punish you. He chooses to give you a hard, to give you a hard life. No. He chose you so that you will be a fruit. Let me finish up that scripture. He said, I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. I choose you so that you can become a part of me. And when you use my name, Oh, you can actually purchase something using my name. It's kind of like his name is the credit card that we use in the name of Jesus. His name is the credit card that we use to purchase in the name of Jesus. My faith purchases using his name everything that I need. And I only need to know that he doesn't hate me so that I can come to him because he chose me. My heart for you in today's video is just for you to come to this place of embrace, knowing that God loves you and he wants to embrace you. He wants to show you the full measure of this love. Paul Apostle said that he prays for us that we would come to a place of understanding this love, which we can't even understand even when we try, because it is a love that is unfathomable. It is a love that you cannot know the length, the breadth, the width, the height of it. And scripture tells us in Psalms that God's love for us is as the height of the heaven to the earth. As the heaven is higher than the earth, that distance, he said, that is the love that God has for us. It is so massive. God does not hate you. God loves you. And it's until you know that he loves you, that is when you can tap into the abundance that he has for you. Because if you still feel that he hates you, you will run away from him. You will be far away from him. You will not want to associate with him. You will think that he will not give you the best. You will think he doesn't have your best interest at heart. But that is nothing but a lie and deceit from the enemy who doesn't want you to receive from your Father God. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I hope this video is for someone. If you know any of your friends that needs to see this video who feels like God doesn't love them, send this video to them. Share it and let them know that God cares. God loves them. God loves you. God cares for you. God says, I am with you, never to leave. Amen.